Oh my God, you guys, I'm about to show you this kitchen that we finished. It is so cute, I'm so proud of it. We did it from scratch on a budget, DIYs, but we gotta rewind and see where we started. When we bought this house, we knew right away that this small kitchen was begging for a makeover. The ceilings are low, the footprint is small, and so is our budget. But we are not gonna let that stop us. Mm -mm. We ripped out the cabinets and countertops and moldy carpeting and pushed the room out a couple feet into the lanai, which created a big problem because the city then made us put in a load-bearing beam that was so ugly. So we sandblasted the beam and made it cute and actually used it as inspo to make faux beams for the rest of the room. So we got seven fake beams done. Fake so. Oh. So happy with how these are turning out. So basically we did a gray brown base and now we're going over it with the same gray that we used on that beam by acting like a highlight on all those raised areas and really looking like driftwood. Our number one goal was to make the space look high end and custom, but also save money since we have a lot more renovating to do, creating our island dream home. So we went prefabricated. All right, so we've decided we're doing this color cabinetry with one of these two. This is gonna be the island, and yeah. this is gonna be the back countertop and backsplash. Yeah, like a taller one. Next up was the floors. Because this is Hawaii, we wanted something super durable and affordable, so we opted for luxury vinyl plank floors in an aged oak finish. I'm really excited we're gonna have this type of floor. This is so believably wood tone. For the countertops, we actually went to a countertop fabricator and asked if we could pilfer his remnants, and we found this gorgeous granite that was left over from some mega billionaire project, and there was enough to give us a super discounted waterfall edge kitchen island and then we used prefabricated marble countertops for the back L. But of course I wanted to add a whimsical touch, so I drew a custom wavy shelf that the fabricator rolled his eyes at, but cut it out and installed it. Thank you. You know we love a thrift store find, and we found this cast iron enamel sink. This is so cool. That's huge. We had to really cram it in in this tiny kitchen, but it looks so good, especially with our gold and brass faucets from Etsy. This is all coming together. It looks so good. So well. One of the other things we did to save money was we DIY'd our own pocket door. To do a custom pocket door, it would have cost thousands of dollars, but you can buy pre-built standard size sliding doors for less than $1,000, and so we bought it, and we hit it in the wall, and it worked. Then we hit a snag. Oh my gosh! This sucks! We wanted to do a pass-through window, and our builder was gonna make it for us, but then he just said, no, thank you, too hard. Are you kidding me? This is a gaping hole in our kitchen. Look at this! <laughs> <gasps> But have no fear where there is a will, there is a way. And today we are so excited because our gorgeous appliances are all arriving and we are putting the final decorating touches on everything and we are going to finally reveal it to you. Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. On an island? Wait, what? It's our dream home! Hopefully. Mom, show me that door! Coming! Oh my gosh, it is such a big day today. Because our cafe appliances are arriving like right now. I'm so excited. They're just it's gorgeous. You guys are gonna love this brand. They're my kitchen dreams. They're coming true. Oh my gosh! Look at the knobbies and the handles. So happy you're here. <laughs> Fridge, dishwasher, stove, microwave. All right guys, so we still have no window. <laughs> the weather doesn't really matter since it's Hawaii, but you know, it's a lot of winds, a lot of dust, bugs, all that stuff. I found this company in California that's going to hopefully help make us a gas shock window that's gonna basically pop out. So I'm still working on getting a window, but I figure in the meantime, might as well build a window, especially since it's temporary. Like I don't have to be that precious about it. Hopefully it's temporary. Let's build a window. Cheers. All right. 
here's our temporary window. Oh, this is just polycarbonate. So a really strong plastic. It can now take however long it needs to take to get a window because it'll look like the other window. Kate just texted me, I gotta come down and meet her because she said she found a uh, hidden garage sale on our block that she wants to buy stuff at. So I'm bringing her cash. <laughs> I'll get you one to take home. Which do you like the best? This one. The Christmas tree smell or the cinema? These would be pretty for the owner. Those are pretty. These are pretty sets right here too, Kate. Look at this, I love the colors. It says cool too. the thrift store. I'm looking for stuff for my wavy shelf in the kitchen. You know, frame, bowls, I like that you guys got dressed up for the thrift store and you're matching. This is a race ah, sprinter. Racing checker. Yeah. Sheep. Oh my gosh, look at these sheep. We, yeah. We've been wanting to replace Moon Sleep and he loves the dividers. Yeah, perfect. This is by Nancy. That's a pencil cute. sketch of one of the hotels, I think. Nancy, I love your sketch. Is this like a little platform? That's cool. Oh my God, Ellen in 2018 made these. Joey, Ellen made these. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres, yes. Really? During her pottery class here in Hawaii. We got so much stuff and it was so cheap. All of this stuff was $32. <laughs> Very first time using the dishwasher. Like that. And then look, I think this one, oh yeah, look. It's got a utensil rack on the top. Got more pots to put in? Yeah, it's got a rack. This was your legs. <laughs> now close it. Woohoo! Our first dishwashing. Oh my God, is that what I think it is? <gasps> oh yes, you had me at espresso. And I have the perfect spot for it. <gasps> oh my gosh, look how cute. Wait, look at this with this like burgundy situation we have going on. Magnet? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Would you want an espresso, americano, a lungo? <laughs> you know I want a barista. He makes a mean latte, and let me tell you. Whoa, this uses Wi-Fi. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, do we do a handmade mug? Large, if you want a, a grande, you do one of those. Or, 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 or. You could do maybe a little espresso in one of these vintage Moroccan teacups. How cute! All right, so here's what I need to ask you though. What? I actually am really loving this hint of orange from this, this rug. This is so much orange. Well, I know, you're right. It's so much orange down there. What, if we pull in the orange here with some of our styling items? Like a little. Avocado oil, cork it, salt. Probably the rest of the spices I'll put in these drawers. Flatware over here. And then we've got plates, moon plates, bowls. And here we can do like glasses. Obviously we can put up a shelf there. We've got this, the corner Lazy Susan. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, this is pretend. <laughs> moon has, um, entered the world of pranks. So pardon the poop by the coffee pods. Okay, time to paint. 
paint something here, sketch something there, paint something here. This is like me covering up the plugs and the switches. And I really do like what Nancy made right here. The little cafe at like a tropical location. You mean the little cafe at a tropical location? All right, I'm gonna play around with something new. I was at the art store and I saw this coarse pumice gel and on the little sample, it actually looked like a sandy texture. Of course, I could just mix sand in it, but we're gonna try this. All right, it's made out of pumice stone, so it has this like amazing texture. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait a minute. This is like so fun. Okay, so I like how this reads is almost like the froth of the waves. I don't know, two different textures meeting each other. And then they go in here with this lighter color. Blush brush, this kind of like spouncer brush. Charcoal. Charcoal is very forgiving. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to do a butterfly. I'm inspired, we've had so many flying around, so many monarch butterflies. We've had some chrysalis here at our house because we were nurturing some little caterpillars that went into chrysalis form. and just kind of give it some more just like detailing. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's plants in that bucket. Just birds of paradise. Bougainvillea. I do love these little guys. And they're such little aliens. And did you see my artwork? Your beach? My beach? Well, yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, so update. This textured stuff is so cool. It dried so well. It totally feels like a pumice stone. But it looks like sand. It's the vibe. If you guys wanna make a really easy sandy situation, now you know how to get the look. What's cool about this medium that's different from when I mixed sand in with paint is that this actually kind of puffs up. So let's see, this is gonna go here. This was our plan, covering up these things. Cute! But I really do love the story that's going on here. We've got, I wanna integrate this bowl somehow because this is like to me it's such like a lava rock texture and we've got also this like darker brown and black from here like this granite is such a color palette starter for us in here and did you see this i don't even know what this was it's like this little tiered thing that we could do like you know tea bags like sugar Or no cigar. <laughs> five star. Five star? 
I'm just going for like five star welcome basket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. It looks so good in here. It's such a vibe now and it's making me remember the before. We did it on a budget with like gorgeous elements. We had this big old beam we had to contend with. We sandblasted it to make it not look like industrial. And it does look aged driftwood cuteness, which is what I wanted. And let's talk about the countertops. I love that we have the white marble going on here, which was also from the prefabricated store. It already came with like the lip done and everything, which saves you a ton of money. But then I had to get a little crazy <laughs> with the wavy shelf, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like it's a little touch that I appreciate that we did and spent a little extra money getting the disgruntled fabricator to cut it. And then to compliment this gorgeous shelf, we have this gorgeous stove and oven combo from Cafe Appliances. The handles, the finishes, everything is just luxurious high-end look that we wanted. So we went with the white, but there's other colors you can go with and different metal color options for the handles. I just love it. Like, okay, so this is the induction one and we did the two ovens. There is the option to also just do one oven, but because we're space saving in here, it is a little bit of a smaller walkway, which we had to do in order to keep room for the living room and everything. Going with the two ovens means a smaller door to open. Also, this has an air fryer integrated into the oven, which is a <laughs> game changer for me because I literally use our air fryer every day, but it's like separate and like on the counter. The fact that this is now in here, like I think I'm gonna use this top one as just like air fryer all day, every day, okay? Watch me. This microwave. Okay, can we just watch? Ready, ready, ready. I didn't do a top load. It just really has such a high-end look in here. We've got all the mixed metals going on, which you know I love. We've got the black light fixture, this sort of like burnished bronze color here. We've got the gold and brass. And the salvage thing turned out so well. Everybody was hating on it. <laughs> I was needing to lift it up and put it in here because it's really heavy because it's enamel cast iron but there's just something about this like almondy color. That is the vibe. And we've got the vintage brass cabinet poles. I think it makes it look very layered. It's like an opportunity to give more complexity rather than sticking with just one metal tone. The DIY light. Remember the travertine coasters? Little hammer action, little epoxy action. Everything is done in here except for the window. We will get a really cool window that will open up with like gas shocks and be our pass through thing. Are you saying that my window is not cool? I think it's pretty cool. Okay, it looks great, Joey. But we did not 
put this much work into this gorgeous kitchen to have a plexi glass window, okay? Let me be honest with you. The prefab cabinets were the best money saver for us in here. The other hack that we did in here that made these prefabricated cabinets look so high end is going all the way to the ceiling with that. So ask for those extra trim pieces because if you can go all the way to the ceiling and trim it out, it just has that built-in look. Also to get the built-in look, this is a wall-mounted cabinet that we set directly onto the countertop. So it gives it that kind of like hutch look, but it's just a basic wall mount cabinet. And our cafe appliances fridge matches the stove, matches the dishwasher. So again, obviously this double door opening really helps in a small space because you don't have a big old swing in door to open. Another little touch is this dish rag holder because like the appliances are so beautiful. I don't want to hang a dish rag over the handle of the oven. I'd rather have it separate. The rug is one of our handmade rugs from Morocco that we ordered and I just love the orange. There's just so much color around us here on the island, it's so beautiful. So I really wanted this to be a happy play of color in here, but also grounded in those neutral tones too. And this island looks so good with the one waterfall edge. We've got like a little overhang here. So it's kind of like a leaning counter. We could do a stool here if we wanted, like maybe just a low profile stool, but I just love a center island to, you know, congregate around. I can't wait to cook in here. I can't wait to invite people over. I can't wait to wash my dishes in the dishwasher. <laughs> we have more of this open floor plan space to finish. I also have the lanai, which is out there. You can see those empty shelves out of the window. They will be filling up with some goodies. Thank you for watching. We love you so much. Thank you for coming on this journey with us from small kitchen to slightly bigger small kitchen, much better looking kitchen. Hope you love it. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite thing in here. And thank you so much Cafe Appliances for gifting us these gorgeous appliances. Link in the description. Check them out. I mean, obviously, totally close together. Your kitchen, they look so good. Thank you. Stay creative. Stay weird. See you. Wash your dishes. Bye. <laughs>